Capturing information can be a time-consuming task, but can we make it easier? Hey, I'm John from Westbury IT, and this is how you can use Microsoft Forms to make capturing information so much easier. Microsoft Forms is included with quite a few Microsoft 365 plans, including basic, standard, and premium. It allows you to simply create forms with a click and drag and drop editor that you can then share with others to complete. You can create forms to capture information internally, such as part of a qualification in your sales process or recording training. Capture information from clients, such as requests or account details, or use forms to complete surveys. There are also quick forms you can create from Outlook to Poll and get quick answers from other people, ideal for votes, selecting a place, or the office lunch order. Now let's run through how you create a form. Launch forms from the office.com launcher or go to forms.office.com. Select to create a new form. You can now give it a name and start adding your questions. On each question, you have a few options. You can make an answer required, perfect for when you definitely need that bit of information. On text boxes, you can make a big text box for longer answers. And on choices, you can allow people to tick multiple choices. There's also more options for you on the three dots menu. Subtitles let you add a little bit more context to a question, ideal for adding some guidance on how to answer the question. Text questions, you can add restrictions if you only need a number answer. And then branching gives you a lot of control over the flow of your form. Based on how choice questions are answered, you can skip to different questions in your form. For example, a yes no question can show a different set of follow on questions for the yes compared to the no, or even finish the form completely. There are more questions types you can add to from the little arrow plus the section option. This allows you to turn your form into multiple pages. There is also a file upload question allowing people to upload a file from their computer or if completing on a mobile phone, they can take a picture or video. There is a downside to this question in that it limits your form to only be usable within your organisation. When you are done creating your form and ready to share it, the collect responses button lets you set who is able to respond and gives you the links to share. Forms can also be embedded on websites and you can adjust the colours of your form with the style button. A cool feature if you are doing a presentation and want audience interaction is the present button, which gives you a QR code for your audience to scan on the mobile device, asking them your questions and then showing the live results on your screen. On the three dots, you also have more options again. Collaborate allows you to give somebody else permission to edit your form and view the results. Settings lets you fine tune your form, putting limits on when somebody can fill out the form, time limits and a few other customizations. There's a couple of different ways you can see the results once you've got your responses. The responses tabs give you a summarized overview with some nice charts. View results lets you see the individual responses or opening in Excel will download them as a spreadsheet. The three dots also gives you a results link you can share for the summarized results and anybody can use that link. There is more you can do with form results when you use Power Automate, sending emails, populating Word documents, sending documents for digital signing and inserting data into your CRM. And you can do so much more in that Power platform. We'll check that out again soon. If you've enjoyed this video, here's another weird thing you might like. I'm John and I'll see you next time.